Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be reviewing my candle day wish list with you guys. Also, I'm going to give you a few tips on how best to go about purchasing for candle day. And yeah, that's that's about everything that I have to share with you guys. So let's go ahead and get into my list. So first, I actually wanted to pull up my list from last year. Um, I will go ahead and put that on the screen right now. But basically, I made this list in Canva and I put a list of must haves and a list of maybes. So. I had Vanilla Bean Noel, Sugared Snickerdoodle, Merry Cookie, Vanilla Balsam, Gingerbread Marshmallow, and Berry Waffle Cone on my must-haves. And then on my maybes, I had Snowflakes and Citrus, Vanilla Snowflake, Christmas Cider, Raspberry Mimosa, Strawberry Lemon Zest, a Sugared Lemon Zest, sorry, and Strawberry Pound Cake, and Market Peach. So I think I did end up getting all the must-haves except for Vanilla Balsam. And then I did end up getting Snowflakes and Citrus, Raspberry Mimosa, Strawberry Pound Cake. So I did get a few on my maybes, but yeah, that's pretty much what I usually do is I'll make a list of things that I absolutely have to have, like I'm so excited to try, and then things that are maybes that I'm still thinking about that I'll smell on the day of and just decide then. So for my must-haves for this year, I have at the top of my list Peppermint Marshmallow. So that's supposed to come out in one of the new collections for Candle Day. Um, so it's not actually for sure if it is going to be in store or online. Um, but I had that one last year and I absolutely loved how the candle smelled when burning. It was this like very gentle peppermint uh, with like a marshmallow on it. Oh, it was so, so, so yummy and sweet and like just a touch of sweetness in the air. If you don't like uh, like a lighter to med medium to light candle, you won't like that one, but I absolutely loved it last year. So definitely have that at my top, the top of my list. Another one from a new collection is a marble chocolate cupcake, which I think is from the Giving Collection. Really excited about that one. It just sounds like a chocolate dream. So I put that on the list. Then I put Vanilla Swirl Brownie, which everybody is just saying is a repackage of last year's mint mint milkshake. Mint, oh, what was it called? Oh my gosh, I can't remember. I'm blinking, but it was like a minty milkshake. So um, Vanilla Swirl Brownie apparently is a recreation of that, and I didn't get to try that, so I'm going to try that one this year. Um, and then I have Red Velvet Cupcake, which I'm so excited is coming back this year for um, Candle Day. They usually bring it out every single Candle Day, but they didn't last year, so I missed out on it. So I am picking up that one, so that's like three chocolate scents in a row. Then we have Peppermint Hot Chocolate, which I've never tried before, but it sounds like a great combination. The Candle Channel here on YouTube, they were reviewing some candles, and I remember them saying that this candle was really good and yummy. It's got that same kind of like, um, it has the same kind of like powdered cocoa scent from the hot cocoa and cream candle and I really like that candle. Um, so I feel like that with a little bit of peppermint would be really nice. And then peppermint sugar cookie, which again is from last year and it was so amazing last year. I do want to grab it again. Um, and then these two at the end are starred because they are actually going to be gifts. So the first one is mahogany vanilla, which is a new one coming out for, um, the giving collection. I feel like that's like a, a nice gentle mahogany version and I know somebody who really loves mahogany scents. And then mahogany teakwood high intensity also for the same person. Um, just like a nice really good clean fresh scent. So those are all the must-haves. So I really limited myself to one carton um, for my own purchasing. So just six candles. I hope I can stick to that, but I do have a long list of maybes, which is not promising. Also quick break. Um, I'm wearing my Santa shirt from, oh, it, it even says something. I didn't even know that. I've had this, uh, since last year. I didn't know it says Merry Christmas at the bottom. What? How did I not know that? Um, but anyways, yeah, it's from, uh, Walmart last year and these little earrings also from Walmart, like when I was eight, I've had them for so long. But yes, had to put on my festive wear for you guys, turned on the star lights and everything. So um, anyways, let's get into the maybes category. Um, these are ones that I'm considering and I think I'm just gonna wait until I'm in store to purchase. So we have a Blackberry Cream Frosting. This one is supposed to be really good. I've smelled it in stores, it smells amazing. And I do kind of want some sort of like fruity candle because if you can tell by the list on the left, the must haves, I really like gourmand. But every now and then I do like a fruity fresh candle. So 
I'm thinking this one will be like my fruity candle, so we'll see. Um, the Ice Blueberry Biscotti, which they only have in like the frosted glass jars, which last year I couldn't find any of those at Candle Day, so I think they just like hold them in the back and try not to let people purchase those. So if I don't find it, I probably won't pick it up, but I, I had it uh, in the spring of this year and it was really good. I also have Cotton Candy Champagne, which is relatively new. I haven't smelled it in store yet, so I'm not quite sure how it smells. So just gonna wait and smell that one in store, but it smells like, I mean, it sounds like it'll smell sweet, so. Um, and then I have Ice Cranberry Scone, which is very similar to Ice Blueberry Biscotti. I never had the Cranberry Scone one though. So maybe if I don't find Blueberry Biscotti, I'll get the Cranberry Scone, we'll see. Um, toasted Hazelnut Praline, which is also a new candle coming out for Candle Day, which I've never smelled before, so I really want to smell that one and see how it is. Um, and if I like it, it sounds like something that would be down my lane. If I like it, I'll pick it up. Um, two that are in just like the White Barn Core collection that I'm not sure about. Um, because I could pick them up now, but I could also just pick them up in the spring if I wanted to. Um, and that is Champagne Toast and Strawberry Pound Cake. Great scents. Always amazing performers. Um, I'm just still debating whether I want to buy them now or buy them later. And then online we have French Baguette and that one is just supposed to be like for my collection purposes honestly. I'm probably not going to burn it a lot. I'll burn it once just to get a sense of it, but I'm probably not going to um, try and like finish it or anything. I'm probably just going to keep it for collection purposes because um, it's such a unique candle. But I'm still unsure if I'm even going to order online. I honestly feel like I'm not because that's the only candle that I'm looking forward to buying online. So I don't think I am going to buy, um, purchase an online order just because it's like a lot of hassle and it usually sells out so fast. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to be doing that, but I will be going, um, on Friday morning. So my, um, my mall opens at 5 a.m. So I'll be going to the mall at 5 a.m. And um, I will be waiting in line and going in the back entrance. I did the same thing last year at the mall. But that um, that store is honestly the best store ever. They always have the new scent. They always have the stuff out either right when it's supposed to be out on launch day or like the day before. They're always on top of their stuff. It's an outlet as well. So I love that store. I assume I'm going to go in and get everything I need there. But if not, my other store opens at 8 um, and it's like in a shopping center, so it's just like a standalone store. Um, that opens at 8. I might have to go like during lunch, on my lunch break at work, um, and see if I can pick up the last few things that maybe I didn't find at the mall. But I feel like I'm just going to do the mall order and that's it. Um, so, yeah, we'll have to see. But um, speaking on my experience last year, I did do uh, a standalone store near my work last year and I went after work at like four or five o'clock um, and that was like a really bad idea because the line was so, so, so long and they were sold out of like everything. So um, the lady in line was actually telling us just buy, you know, a whatever candle and exchange it next week or something for something that you actually wanted once it's back in stock. So that is something you can think about doing if maybe you only have like one store near you or you only have time to go to one store near you and you can't find candles that you want. Um, if they're like regular Christmas candles, not like the special collections that came out for Candle Day, if you don't find those on the first day, they're probably they're probably already sold out. Um, but like regular ones like Champagne Toast, Strawberry Pound Cake, if you can't find those or just like regular Christmas ones like Tis the Season, um, then you can get just like a regular whatever candle that you don't care about and then go in the next week and exchange it once they are have restocked. So that's definitely an option. Um, I did that with a few candles last year. Well, I actually did that at that store. I did like two candles at that one store because they, they literally had nothing. Um, and then I went the next day to the mall store and they had everything. So I should have just gone there. Um, but that was 40 minutes away from me at work. So yeah, so other recommendations. I definitely recommend getting there early. Um, I think at least before um, before people get off of work because that's when like the lines start to get crazy long. Um, I'll be there first thing in the morning just to try and get it out the way because I still have to work that day. Um, so I probably should have just taken the day off, but you know, it's okay. I don't need candles that bad. <laughs> also, um, I do know Tina Marie just announced that the candles for Candle Day are gonna be 1025 which is honestly like not even that good of a deal. Um, a little disappointing, but they were $9.95 last year and they were I think 9 or 8 dollars 
two years ago like it just keeps going up astronomically so if you're not willing to like go in the lines and brace the madness it's not even that worth it honestly i'm going because four of the candles i want are like the exclusives for candle day which is peppermint marshmallow marble chocolate cupcake vanilla swirl brownie and red velvet cupcake so so yeah if you don't want to go in stores that's totally understandable and you honestly don't even have to fight online i'm reading through her comment section now and they're saying like if you purchase during the buy one get one sale or buy two get two sale um and use a 20 percent off coupon it's the same price so let me actually do some quick math on that they're 10 20 each yep yep so um it's actually cheaper than candle day prices so if you have a coupon i definitely recommend going in for candle day but honestly this year it's it's not sounding um it's not sounding the best i'm still gonna go i'm still gonna have fun i honestly do it for the experience sometimes um for these like sales like that so yep that's everything for me for this like candle day wish list and um candle day tips video let me know down below what are you most excited about for candle day I'm definitely excited about the new um, marble chocolate cupcake and vanilla swirl brownie. I'm really excited about red velvet cupcake and really excited about peppermint marshmallow coming back. So um, that's like my top ones that I'm really excited about. But yeah, let me know down below what are you looking forward to? Are you purchasing during candle day or are you just kind of staying away from it? I totally understand if that's the case. I have too many candles. I recognize that, um, but I'm still going to buy some. <laughs> so yeah, that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! <laughs>